Postman, one of the most used tool for testing different APIs. In this tutorial, you will see how to use Postman, how to send different kind of request, how to send image or video for testing, and some tips to manage structure of saving API. So I am very excited about this and hope you are too. So let's dive into this. So first of all, you need to install Postman in your machine. If you don't have Postman, then head over to postman.com and then download Postman for your operating system and then install it. If you only want to test two or three simple APIs, then I suggest you to install Rapid API extension for VS Code. Now open up Postman and you can see we have two options, sign in or create free account. So I just click on this skip button and after that you are ready to test API. So for now, don't worry about this interface. Just click on this plus icon to create new folder or collection and give it a related name to your project and hit enter. So save all APIs from one project in this single collection. Now to test API, you need to create request. So click on these three dots on your collection and select add request. Now at the top, you can give this request name. Let's say fetching books data. And you see, it's updated here. Now we have one API called simple book API. I will give this link in description box. So here we get different kinds of APIs for testing. So first, let's test this simple API for getting the list of books and request method is get. So copy this URL from here and back to postman. Here we enter our API URL. So paste that URL here and at the end we add slash books. Now from this drop down, we can select the method of our API. 90% time we will use this 4 to 5 methods. So here we need get method. Now to send request, just click on this send button or you can press ctrl plus enter or command plus enter. And at the bottom, we get our response. This section display all data related to API response. Here you can see the status code which is 200, time for complete that request and the size of this response. And at the end, you can also save this response in Postman. Or if you want to export that data in file, then you can select save to file option. Now below that, you will get couple of option for preview the data. But pretty is really good option because we see data in clear structure. So congratulations, you successfully test get request. Now this section is very important for sending data with our API request. So we know that we can send data as a query parameter. So in Postman, we don't need to write query parameters in URL. Just open this params tab and write here your parameters. Now in documentation, we can see this query parameters for type and as value, fiction or non-fiction. So in Postman, we write here type and see, we get this parameter in our URL. And in this value field, we write fiction. Now click on send button and see, we get all books of fictional type. Now back to our documentation, here we get single book information by using path parameters. So how can we add path parameters in Postman? So I create a new request and give it a name fetching single book details. Now I paste that base URL slash books slash colon book ID. And you see Postman add this path parameter. Now here you can pass its value, let's say 2 and click on send button. See, we get details about book ID too. Here, we can also directly pass ID in URL. So I remove this book ID and write here too and click on send. See, this also work. Now let's see the post request 
which is the same as the get request but the difference is that we have to send data in our request body. So I have this login API which I created in my JWT tutorial because by this simple book API we can't access post request. So I create one new request and give it a name called login. Now in the URL I write my API URL and select the post from this request methods. Now head over to this body section. Here you can see various type of data formats like form data, URL encoded, raw, etc. So I select raw and from this drop down I select JSON. You have to select appropriate format that the server accept. If you want to test node API then most probably use raw and JSON data. Now I pass here data in JSON format, email and password. Now click on send button and see we get login successful. So this is how you send data with post request. Now sometimes we want to send data with our headers. So move to this header section and here same as params we will add data in key value pair. For example we want to send json web token as header. So I write here variable name which is x or token and in the value I add token. Remember this variable name is the same as declared in backend. Now the most important part how we can send data like images, videos and files with our request. So for that move to body section and select form data. Now here you write your variable name for example video and at the right side you can see there is a drop down options text and file. So if you want to send any type of file like image, video or other types of file then select file and if you want to pass text then select text. So I select file and see here we get select file option. So click on that and select file and open that. See we get our file. Now in the backend with this video variable we can get this file data. Now if you want to change theme, font size, font style or anything related to postman then click on this setting icon and select setting. Now in general tab you can change font size, font style and many other things. And in this theme tab you can select your postman theme, dark or light. And there are many other tabs for postman. So there are nothing hard in using postman for API testing. If you have some doubts then you can ask me in the comment section. And a lot of interesting tutorials are coming. So stay tuned and see you in the next video.